Isang pinagpala at magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. So we continue our reflection on the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. We notice that Paul never loses his focus in carrying out his mission. And so, even if he was criticized, he was not accepted, he kept his focus on the one who sent him to carry out his mission. And that is, we know, that is Christ the Lord. And uh, he gives a beautiful example. You know, if uh, other people like the athletes, they give their best to win a fading crown, how much more for us who would be rewarded with an unfading crown, with eternal life. I think that's quite uh, important to remember what do we work for where we where do we spend our energy our effort each day yes we work we face many responsibilities we do many things and yet let us not forget our main focus that is to win the unfading crown by you know doing everything to glorify god so Paul was clear about that. In all his actions, in all his plans, it was to glorify the Lord who sends him on a mission. In the gospel, again, we are reminded about the importance of sight. We know we have five senses. Di po kasama yung common sense. <laughs> five senses. And uh, what most, many people consider important is sight because 85 percent of what we do depends on our sight and yet we can use the sight to work to develop ourselves to affirm people because we see things we see people we meet people and yet part of our human weakness is just to see what is negative in others Sometimes a psychologist would even say, we have what you call the projection. We try to see in others what perhaps our failures unconsciously, we see them, we criticize them. And yet Jesus reminds us to be a disciple of Jesus is to imitate him, is to see things with the eyes of God, which would be to see others with compassion, with love, you know, not trying to put down others because perhaps uh, they have more talents, they have more to share. That's not what's important. All our gifts are through the goodness of God, through the generosity of God. And so we have nothing to brag. We have nothing to be proud of. And so Jesus tells us, Remove first the plank before your eyes so that you can remove the splinter in your brother's eye. What does that mean? We have to go into retrospection. We go into our inner selves. Where can I grow? In what area of my life am I weak so that I could strengthen that instead of just looking at others? trying to criticize, trying to put them down. So today we are asked to go into retrospection, to enter into our inner self. Where can I grow? Where can I improve my relationship with God and with others? And in that way, we can see others the way God sees them. And if we have to remove the splinter in another's eye, then we can do it. Amen.